and welcome to Sunset Seekers. Well, we are so excited to be camping once again. It's been three months since our last camping trip because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, but we made it. We're back at a campsite again. So excited. We are at Daisy State Park in Arkansas, and I have to tell you, this is without a doubt probably the most beautiful campsite that we've ever been to. Uh, just check this out. This is campsite number 55. And just look at this view. I don't know that uh, the camera will actually do it justice, but we have a wonderful panoramic view of the lake here. This is Lake Greeson. Very nice campsite. This is a campsite that we can definitely recommend. Um, there are so many beautiful campsites, but we're going to do a tour of uh, all the sites here and give you just a good idea of, uh, of what the park looks like. Now this site is 30 and 50 amp, but it is water and electric only, so that's something that you need to know if you come and book a site here. In fact, I think that I don't think that there are any sites here at Daisy State Park that are full hookup. They are all water and electric only. Bear in mind that if you come, you will have to utilize your portable waste tank. And it is actually a pretty level site. Uh, it has a slight slope from uh, front to back, but uh, as you can see, I really didn't have to do much to get my camper level. Pretty nice, relatively level campsite. Uh, these are the bathroom facilities, which are closed because of uh, COVID-19, but they look like really nice bathroom facilities. And uh, to be honest, uh, we haven't really been to a state park yet that didn't have really nice clean bathroom facilities. So I would be surprised if it wasn't. It looks like a really nice facility, but it will be closed until further notice until after the COVID-19 pandemic has uh, come to an end. Um, we're just happy to be able to go camping again. Now, I want to take some time to give you a tour of our favorite camping area, which is Camping Area B. This is the area that our site was on, and we think that the best RV camping sites in the park are in this area. There are 25 sites in this camp area, and we'll begin our tour at site number 36 and make our way back around to site number 60. Each one of these sites on this loop have a, a really nice view of the lake. And uh, I don't know if you can see right across the way over there, that is the other camping road uh, that ends in a loop over there. Our friends uh, from the Art of RVing, Mark and Carrier over on that side, and uh, they're in site number 16, I think. We're gonna check out their site and their rig later. Uh, from what, from what they told us, their site isn't quite as nice as, as ours. They don't have quite the view, but uh, they're still very excited, very, very excited to be camping again. And we're excited to meet up with them and uh, looking forward to this weekend. But I'm just, I'm really impressed with this state park. I knew it was a, I'd heard from several different people that it was a, a beautiful state park, but uh, this is a, a great place to come to, especially after being so long from, uh, since our last camping trip. We're so happy to be here. Thank you. 
Now, in our opinion, the five sites in this section of Camp Area B are the best sites in the park. So if you plan on booking a site to Daisy State Park, we would definitely recommend trying to book one of these sites. Site number 51, 52, 53, 54, and the very best site in the entire park in our opinion is site number 55. This was our site for the Memorial Day weekend and we can tell you from personal experience that this site has an excellent view of the lake. We didn't see any other site with a better view. And it also has great lake access if you want to go for a swim or tie up a canoe, jet ski, or boat. This site can't be beat. It's a 50 amp site that's level enough that we don't think you'll have any issues when you're setting up. Now normally we like to move on to a different campground or site that we haven't camped before, but we love this spot so much that we booked this exact same site for another longer vacation later on this year. You recognize these guys? Hey! It's Mark. Mark, Mark and Carrie. <laughs> you know it. Coincidence today with Sunset Seekers. Yes, not really. <laughs> We're here about to take a picture in front of this Daisy State. Hey, is this not a beautiful state park? It's the best. Yeah, it's especially your side. Effort. Yes. Okay, but ours is good too. Well, right. but we haven't seen y'all's yet. We're, yeah, we're yeah. going. Yeah. Watch the face. Serious. That was about it. Well, you can see it away. Thing besides. <laughs> we have about it drops off. And then it's at 45. Uh, you're just, you, you yeah, and it's all rocks. No, so you can. Your, you know, He's sli can. Your feet slide out from underneath. That's true. I'm only seven. Yeah, yeah see, still. see? Oh, you just sent me a text message. I some time to get pictures in front of the beautiful Daisy State Park sign and we met up later with Mark and Carrie for our first geocaching experience and we had a blast. Be sure to check out our geocaching video. You can find the link here in the upper right hand corner or in the description below. Now it's time to check out some of the tent camping sites in Area C which are amazing. If you're a tent camper, you can find beautiful lakeside campgrounds in this area with easy access to the lake. We're starting off here at site number 61. different area of the state park and that is area E. We'll check out a few of the sites here and then we'll make our way to the yurts. Now the yurts are not illustrated here on the map but they're actually right about here. Daisy State Park has three yurts that are absolutely awesome. These are a great alternative if you don't have an RV and would prefer not to tent camp. 
Each one has a nice view of the lake and you'll find a gas grill on the outside with propane provided, a great outdoor space complete with a large picnic table and fire pit. On the inside you'll find a couple of sets of bunk beds, a dinner table, and chairs. I really kind of like this one the best out of the three. It just seemed to have a better view of the lake, uh, just where it was situated, and a better outdoor space. I wasn't able to tour the inside of these, but it looked like the accommodations were all the same. It looks like these were all three just recently built, and no expense was spared putting these together. These are very well constructed, and we would highly recommend these as an alternative to the RV sites. Yurt 1 was the least impressive of the three due to the location of the outdoor space. Here you see the picnic table which is right on the road so it doesn't have the greatest location but it's still very impressive. Nice wraparound deck and a beautiful view of the lake. Not far from Campground E, you can find this wonderful pavilion that would be great for a family reunion. The walk-in tent camping sites in Area D were closed for the Memorial Day weekend, leaving only one more area to explore during our stay, and that was Camp Area A. Although you can find some nice campsites in this area, many of them have a very sharp slope downward from the RV pad and the outdoor spaces are very unlevel, making them much less comfortable for sitting around the campfire or at the picnic table. And most of these sites don't provide as good of a view as you can find at camp areas B and E. For these reasons, we would recommend that you try to book a site at one of the other camp areas if you're bringing your RV. But if the other sites aren't available, don't abandon your trip to Daisy State Park because you'll find the campsites in Area A to be very charming and worth a visit, even if they aren't quite as nice as some of the other sites in the park. This is the area where our friends Mark and Carrie were staying in site number 16. We'll check out a few of these sites and take a quick tour of Mark and Carrie's Jayco Travel Trailer. This is, I want to show you, this is our, uh, I always put my chains back up off the ground, of course, and then I cover my propane. Cool. Of course. And then the uh, battery box, make sure you got drill, holes drilled in the bottom because when we got it, it was completely full of water. Oh, wow. Yep, completely full. So then we always keep our hoses and our uh, wires off the ground so nothing can crawl into the, keeps some, anything from crawling in. Yeah, there's a couple of state parks where they've had the uh, a certain type of ant that's real invasive, and, yeah. and and you need to keep. We we typically don't do that, but we need to we need to do a much better job <laughs> of that. And we get we have seven dust, and we that's it, right? Exactly. We usually put it around anything that's on the ground. Yes. You know, the tires and everything around the seven dust. And so we bite back here. And then this is our setup here on our table with our. We usually cook out with our electric grill. 212QBW. Yes. 212QBW. Yep. And this is my stair holder. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, so that's not. Makes not, it a lot more stable. Yep. And then this is our. We always make sure we, this is her decoration in here where we keep our pillows and our Martha Stewart look. We did these. We got pretty good storage on either yep. side over there. Yep. We have a video how we made those. That's cool. And then they just fit on. They're not even nailed on. And this is our uh, galley. Small as it is, I made these. It's certainly functional. It is. I got these at Home Depot and cut off the tops. And then we glued them to the top oh, so that's cool. we have a valance in it so it's not so glary. Very Off nice. Them, uh -huh. Nice touch there. Yeah. And then we did the same thing all the way to the back wall with these. We did the same exact same thing on them and then we put in an oversized tv it's not supposed to have this 
We put a bigger bracket in so we could have the bigger TV in here. You know what I love about this? Mm -mm. A lot of travel trailers that are this size don't have a lot of windows in them. This has a wonderful yeah. array of windows Thank in the back, yes. back here. And we, we look yeah. for the windows like in a Jayco to see how yeah. the whole back is basically yeah. windowed. Wonderful natural light yeah. coming into this. Yeah. This is awesome. And we have full size fridge, which we oh, like. Because our other one, it wasn't as big as this. Yeah. So we like That's this That's a pretty big. good size fridge yeah. right there. And then when the, our pantry here goes deep and then she uses these long handle for these to, to keep her stuff in. Right. Yeah. That's nice. And then the bathroom is just a bathroom. It's just a bathroom. At least it has a sink. Hey, at least, have a sink at least you've it. got a stand-up shower. You're not kidding. Me. At least you don't have one of those. <laughs> what do you kind of the, the type of showers where you sit down and wet bath? I hate those. Yeah, we have I a cannot wet bath. stand those. And we have a fan in there so we can keep the humidity out of there. Awesome. Yeah. Very so, nice. Yeah. Did you guys do this? Uh huh. Yeah, we ordered. She ordered that, and then we put it on there. That's really cool. That's a nice. Yeah, touch. not bad. Very nice. Yeah, awesome, man. I'm glad you like it. Definitely. Yeah. It's a nice looking trailer. Thank you. Yeah, we like it better than our last one, for sure. It's got a nice big awning there. Yep. We have a solar light up here at the top that's velcroed on. So we velcro this on, and then when we get here, we put it on, and that way we come out, we have directional light out here. That's cool. Yeah, motion light, yeah. A J Flight SLX. Mm -hmm. And we look for the awning that goes from window to window. Yeah. Because our last one only went to here, and this window was That's exposed. That's nice. Yeah. That awning is huge. We learned that we wanted the full length of the. Yeah. We wanted the full length of the RV. Okay. That is our brilliant. Last one wasn't. That is an awesome awning. There. And we learned it. Yeah. On this one, it's almost the entire side. Well, our daughter lives there. And oh, it really helps. Okay. No yeah. parents, so they like to come over. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we're gonna keep that Tomorrow. going. You're We're right. going to try. No, maybe. Probably not. Yeah. But then next Saturday... During our stay at Daisy State Park, Mark and Carrie invited us to appear in their live stream on Saturday, May 23rd. This was a wonderful experience where we got a behind-the-scenes look at how live streams worked, and we marveled at the setup and equipment that Mark and Carrie had, and also the wonderful energy that they put forth during a live show. Christy and I aren't quite as comfortable in front of the camera and really haven't seriously considered doing consistent live streams, but if we ever change our minds about that, we will definitely consult with Mark and Carrie about how to successfully put all that together. Tell her about our geocaching today, dude. Oh, it was awesome. It was so much fun. Yeah. So, hey, come here, Christy. Get in there, Christy. Michael and Christy. What's happening? From hey Sunset Seekers. Y'all put a link in to their channel. Yes, please yes. do. Please do. They are here camping. Yep. And um, we went geocaching together today. It was fun. It was, it was fun. fun. Yeah. It was a little was difficult. Great. Some of them, some of them were actually a little bit harder yes. than we thought they were yeah. going to be. A little harder. Yeah. We had to get some help from a, for a couple of them, but yeah. yeah. Have y'all been geocaching? I mean, anybody out there into it? This is our first time. Are y'all too? Yeah. We're new. Another really cool thing happened during the live stream, and we actually got to meet one of our subscribers. We enjoyed meeting Richard, who, it turns out, was watching the live stream at Daisy State Park and made his way down to the live stream location to meet us all in person. How cool is that? Richard is a subscriber to both Mark and Carrie's channel and ours, and we really enjoyed meeting him. Check out Mark and Carrie's RV Variety Show from May 23rd to see how the show went on the other side of the camera. You'll find a link in the upper right hand corner or in the description below where you can also find a link to Mark and Carrie's RV channel, The Art of RVing. All in all, it was a wonderful Memorial Day weekend, one that we will not soon forget. Thank you so much for watching this video and following along with us on our journey, and we hope that our video has inspired you to visit Daisy State Park. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Also, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to follow us on all our future journeys.